Hey everyone, it's Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. And in this video, I'm going to talk about reconciling Shopify transactions to QuickBooks Online. Reconciling Shopify transactions to QuickBooks Online um, can be very tricky. And in fact, it's not something that you can easily figure out. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the factors that you need to consider. And then we'll take a look at a transaction and, and trace it from Shopify into QuickBooks and explain uh, what goes on behind the scenes. When we're looking at Shopify sales and transactions and QuickBooks online, we're looking to pick up income, returns and refunds, and sales taxes. And what we see in QuickBooks Online is generally the deposits and, and really the net deposits made into your bank account by payment processor. So it gets a bit tricky because we see one set of numbers in Shopify versus another set of numbers in QuickBooks and those numbers don't necessarily equal. And so what you have to do is to reconcile them and to know how to reconcile them. And there's a lot of other factors that can affect that reconciliation. As I said, your payment processors, types of transactions, if you have different locations, you might be using Shopify to sell online as well as Shopify point of sale. You may have other apps integrated with Shopify. And um, capturing fees is also a challenge. Let's go ahead and take a look at a day's transactions in Shopify, what makes up those transactions, and trace those transactions into QuickBooks and see then how they reconcile. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm in Shopify and I have pulled up a report of finances for a given date. Okay, so I went to analytics and reports and I chose finances and I filtered the report for a specific date. We're seeing that you have gross sales, discounts, returns, so that equals your net sales. Then in this case, we have taxes that were collected and it's showing us our total sales. There's also $100 for the sale of a gift card. So basically the total payments that we are receiving from Shopify payments for all of these transactions is right here, $1,427.33. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the payout report also from Shopify. The payout report is telling us what was actually deposited in the bank account. And you'll notice that the amount paid out, this $1,391.25, is less than the amount shown in the finances report. It's showing $1,427.33. The difference is it's actually fees and it's also adjustments. So if we take this 1,427.33 and we subtract 3637 for fees and we add 29 cents for adjustments, then we get $1,391.25 deposited in the bank account. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at QuickBooks Online and see how this shows up in QuickBooks. I am looking at the sales transactions for this particular client. They happen to have um, Shopify integrated with QuickBooks. It is bringing in every transaction and we can see the total of all the sales, um, the total of all the sales receipts that have been synced over from Shopify into QuickBooks is $1,427.33. Now let's go back again to Shopify, to the uh, finances report, and we can see that we have $1,427.33. So everything's great, okay, everything equals so far. 
Now let's look at the bank fees. From the left navigation bar, select banking. I've selected the bank account where Shopify uh, deposits all their payouts. And for the same date, I will find that payout. So it's right here. Now, if you notice, this is 1,391.25. Okay, now let's look at the payout. And it equals exactly 1,391.25. So just to review, from Shopify, we will run the finances report for the specific date or date range that we're working with. We'll have all of the sales broken out. And when we look at the Shopify payments, we'll have an amount. This is the total of everything that happened in this date, okay, from gross sales to discounts, returns, taxes, gift cards, that's the total. That is what gets recorded into QuickBooks here. And then the amount deposited in the bank account, which we also see in the bank feeds in QuickBooks, is net of fees. So that's a smaller amount. And we can um, verify this by looking at the payout report in Shopify and verifying the same amount. And the difference again is fees and adjustments. I hope this helps you to understand how to reconcile uh, Shopify transactions with QuickBooks Online. Check out the description box below for all of my free goodies and also the link to join my Facebook group. If this content is helping you, make sure that you comment, like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you can get all of my latest videos. I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping.